Congratulations, NRA. Uh, you've got a new president. It used to be David Keene. Everybody thinks, by the way, that Wayne LaPierre is the president of the NRA. He's not. He's actually uh, the person that they put out there most often as their spokesperson, but he's technically their executive vice president. The new president is Jim Porter. As you can see, we've labeled him Jim Crow Porter. Now, why is that? Well, look, he's a little crazy, uh, and he's got some conspiracy theories. Uh, let me share those with you first. Uh, but trust me that that is not the worst part about Jim Porter. First, he says, um, people are so concerned that where this government wants to take us is a European, socialistic, bureaucratic type of government. I mean, he's just warming up. So Obama's a European socialist, and they're going to take over everything. Standard NRA fair, I'm not too worried about it right now. Then he turns to Attorney General Eric Holder and he says that he is, quote, rapidly un American. Why? Because he violates the Fourth Amendment on a daily basis. He doesn't prosecute bankers, etc. No, 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 no. Because he's trying to kill the Second Amendment of the United Nations, of the United States. Who wouldn't mind if he killed something at the United Nations? Okay, so uh, what is Eric Holder doing to kill the Second Amendment of the United States? nothing as far as I can tell but of course these guys believe that it, there's a conspiracy around every corner oh if Holder gets a chance Holder doesn't do anything he doesn't do anything about the banks he doesn't do anything about anything you think he's gonna actually have courage and try to take your guns away <laughs> okay good one and then about the United Nations arms uh, trade treaty he says it makes it illegal for individuals all over the world to own firearms except that it doesn't you made that up it's about arms dealers on a mass scale. It's about war. It is not about individuals' right to own a gun. It's just not true. So again, not surprising that the NRA would take this guy who's a conspiracy theorist and make him president. I, you know, almost all of the leadership believes in these kind of crazy theories. Wayne LaPierre, after Oklahoma City bombing, a couple of days afterwards, talked about jackbooted thugs from the government. An anti-government had just blown up a, a guy had just blown up a government building, killed over 160 people in there. And the guy's talking about Jack Poodle Thugs. And he's their top spokesperson now, Wayne Lapierre, right? So now we get to the best part. Jim Porter, classy guy from Alabama, and uh, he was part of the original uh, extreme right-wing takeover the N over, of the NRA in the late 1970s. He shepherded that group. Uh, apparently, he's not just stuck in the 1970s, he's stuck a lot farther back. Let's listen to him talk about the Civil War. It was started by uh, some Yankee generals who didn't like the way my Southern boys had the ability to shoot in what we call the War of Northern Aggression. Now, y'all might call it the Civil War, but we call it the War of Northern Aggression down south. That was not a joke. That was just, that's what we call it in the South. He repeated it twice. He calls it the War of Northern Aggression. This is now the president of the NRA. Way to go, more moderate. Nicely done. And this is your new face, uh, gun owners. You're a gun owner in America. You're, there's a lot of liberal gun owners, a lot of libertarians, etc. Man, a lot of conservatives who aren't crazy. You're comfortable with that guy representing you? The guy who thinks the Civil War was a war of northern aggression? And by the way, hey, traitor, you know the South were seceded from the Union what what is otherwise known as the United States of America you were all traitors and now you celebrate how you were traitors back then like apparently you'd like to do it again oh war of northern aggression ha <laughs> ha you know what if you'd gotten your way Jim Crow Porter you know what you would be right now I don't know but you certainly wouldn't be an American you would not be in the United States of America probably be in northern Mexico right now I'm sure you'd love that. So congratulations, NRA members. You have this guy who was pro-South in the Civil War still fighting that battle as your new president. OK, great. By comparison, the conspiracy theories about the United Nations and the administration seems tame after that. 